one day, such a rotten day. Poor Monday has got such a bad rap, you know, it's just, oh, hang on, I'll turn that on even though it makes me paranoid, because people want to see my big fat head, um, Okay, Doctor Who filming's resuming. I believe it's either this week or next. Um, they're gonna. That's gonna be the big wrap up for the you know, everything going on. Um, now they're claiming that the quote by Sarah Mills, the one we've been talking about for the last few days, about the doctor never had. T now they're saying that person doesn't exist and that post is fake. Okay kind of weird if you google search for this person you'll find there's no such spokesperson okay I'll do that later but why was it put out there then Ugh. you know what was the point was this you know that's what I think I'm sick and tired of is people putting out bogus information on the, you know, because they think, you know, I don't know, maybe it gives them something to go home and masturbate to. I can't figure it out. You know, just like that one group, you know, the four or five, you know, weirdos or whatever. And, of course, you know, the, uh, what was that other group that we used to make fun of? You know, there was also, like, the poo addicts. It's like, it gives them something to, you know, tug about at the next circle jerk. I don't know. Ha, 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 ha. We fooled you. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, goodness gracious. And then they wonder why there's so much crap going on. Because deliberate misinformation is funny. Um, the good news is, though, is uh, yeah, um, Lady G and I finished... The uh, first eight episodes of the Fallout TV series. The series, from what I have seen, and um, don't what you dude, dude. About to say, you better not back over that damn line because I know for a fact I'm not anywhere near over it. <laughs> Sorry about that guy across from me. It's like, I don't know, <laughs> I'm paranoid. Ugh. But we finished watching the first series of Fallout. I'm dying laughing at all you know some of the reviews. You know, like I said, most of the reviews on this show were highly positive, despite the fact it was supposed to be a woke wreck mess, according to the usual suspects. You know, especially one of them. You know, the, the drawn and quartering. Who should have, you know, was sitting there going, is it going to be a woke piece of trash? Then you had the guys over at Geeks and Gamers. One dude sitting there going, you know, the, the video clip they showed where the guy, every I'll second, the guy who plays Maximus appeared on screen. Diversity, diversity. Dude, why don't you just say the N-word and get it over with, you two-bit race baiting, baiting hustler. You two-bit bigot. Because that's exactly what it is. It's bigotry, just, you know, redisguised as something else. And I, I, it's the same thing we went through with Jody Whitaker and all that. It, it's the same group of guys who think that only straight white British males could be the doctor. Um, but in this case, it was Fallout. Apparently, only white people exist in the Fallout universe. Really? Uh, not from the games I've played. <laughs> It just sickens me that, you know, when, sorry, but in real life, we're a melting pot of different individuals, different cultures, you know, different skin colors, different creeds, different religions, and these guys need to wake up and get the hell over it. Ugh, it's like somebody tried to tell me that the other day. Blah, 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 this, blah, blah, that. I'm like, dude, get down off the cross, use the wooden nails to build a bridge, and get the hell over it already. It's gotten old. 
I knew these guys were cringing, and you could almost visibly see the one dude cringing when they found out there's a female lead in the show. A female lead. Oh, the other lead's a black male. Ooh, we can't have that. But you see, what gets me is, like I said, in the Fallout trailer, Maximus was about the only black character in the Fallout trailer. You know, there were other characters mixed in there, don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying, you know, like, you know, look at the lineup of people who were in it. But okay, let's get back to the main point. We finished the, the first season of the series, and it was pretty damn good. It stuck to the atmosphere of the game, it stuck to the lore of the game. And it stuck to a lot of the mechanics of the game. The only thing that disappointed me was, was just a couple small things. You never, you know, instead of the gulpers, there should have been Meyer Lurks, because I like Meyer Lurks better. <clears throat> and we didn't see any super mutants. Okay, and the robo brain they showed was a bit of a disappointment. Because, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Um, the robo little guy that they found in Vault 31 was looked more like a Roomba with a brain on it than it did an actual, you know, robo brain from the game universe. Which is why I can't figure out why they would leave a brain, you know, sitting on a platform with a syringe in charge you know, of Vault 31. When they've had, they've got other technology and they've got, you know, like protectrons, we didn't see them either. We saw Mr. Handy's left and right. We didn't see any protectrons. But, you know, like I said, it was still a great story with great characters. It was well told. One guy goes, it was fantastic and horrible because there was a part of the middle where I was bored. I'm like, really? Where was that at? Because... We were drawn into it. I didn't walk away going, please don't make me have to watch another episode. I'm actually intrigued about where this is going to go. Plus, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert for Fallout TV series, spoiler alert. The fact that vault was behind the Great War had something that's been hinted at for a long, long time in the game lore. And when they showed the uh, other character, oh great, now my brain just froze. Um, and then they explained that, you know, I'm sorry, uh, well, a whole bunch of spoilers, we'll just say. Uh, when they explained that the members of Vault 31 were actually leftovers from before the war, that was no surprise either, because at the beginning of well, spoiler alert for those of you who have not played Fallout 4. Um, in Fallout 4, your character, and you can choose to be wife or the husband. The husband, by the way, who had military experience and had served in Anchorage, Alaska. Um, when you go to the vault, they tell you to get into the decontamination pods. And it turns out the decontamination pods are cryopods. And your character wakes up 210 years later. Of course, the story in the TV series takes place nine years after Fallout 4. Also, they didn't really give off the year, I don't think, too much that the Great War took place. Um, the Great War happened on October 23rd, 2077, according to the game lore. Um, you're dealing with a parallel alternate universe. Um, that's why things are different. And all that. The, you know, Fallout 4 is like Earth, blah, 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 how many? You know, in the multiverse. Where, uh, matter of fact, when you hear uh, Cooper's car pull up in the parking lot in one of the later episodes, you'll notice it's not making engine noises. It's making um, more like a wine type noise. That's because 99% um, of the cars in the Fallout universe in America were nuclear powered. 
when you went to a red rocket station, you weren't changing out your gas. You were more than likely changing out your coolant for your reactor in your car. And one of the things they go into in the game universe is the fact that after how many years of nuclear energy, all that built up waste was, they kept trying to find new and inventive ways to make it disappear. And let's just say that, you know, Greta Thunberg would have been up there jumping up and down going, how dare you when she found out where they were dumping some of the stuff. Uh, and that's basically what led into the war was the resource wars and that's why Chinese took Alaska was to get their hands on you know the oil fields because fossil fuels were a lot more a lot rarer in that universe and that's what led to the Sino-American War um, So like I said, it's it's a really fun universe. It's uh, They did an incredible job interpreting it. Um, also, keep in mind, we're not that far away from the premiere of the next series of Doctor Who. Be careful. Depending on what you want to call it, you know, 14, 15, you know, series one, which to me, you know, Disney's doing because they want to promote the show for their channel. And, you know, they don't want people walking into a new series on their channel going, do I have to go back and watch all the previous law to this show? I don't want to be bothered. But in a way, I can't blame them. That's like me saying, well, I want to get caught up on, like, Coronation Street or EastEnders. I better go pre-watch, you know, the previous 50 years of it. You know, to... <laughs> I know, it is technically Series 14. I'm just having a little fun because everybody's been jumbling the numbers around on it so much. But okay, let's see, what time is it? I might have to get running in. Yeah, it's almost that time, not quite. Um, no, Disney Plus just has the rights to stream Doctor Who. They don't own Doctor Who. Yeah, Fallout London's coming soon. And I'm really looking forward to that. Um, it's going to be like starting a whole new game. You know, it's going to be in a whole new game world using the Fallout 4 engine. And like I said, if you folks have not watched the Fallout TV series, I highly recommend it. You don't have to be a diehard gamer to enjoy the series. They cover a lot of the bases for you to bring you into that universe. Well, folks, I have got to get running inside. Be kind, be calm, be safe. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. We will definitely see you all tomorrow. So take care, everyone. Toodles for now.